Alright guys, King David K, King K, David K, Multi David Nota 4 is back with another episode of the Disco Elysium, the final cut full playthrough. So without further ado, let me change the camera real quick and let's jump in some investigation action. Let's go, yeah. Let's load the game. Where we left off? Com doomed commercial area. Fake doomed, if you ask me. I don't think about supernatural and curse and things. I know. I want to stay with my feet on the ground, okay? Think about real. So we talked about with this girl, right? Uh, oh, almost about everything. Again. Are you looking for a guy? No. But yeah. Maybe one day. I don't know. I have some dice. Free. By the way. East Coast Real Dice Set Sirens. That's cool. Policeman died. Now we can talk to the... Yeah, to the girl. Yeah, let's go from here. Maybe I can go back from here instead of... Ooh, what is this? Is this something new? I don't remember this, actually. Ooh. Steel rudder blades bearing a slipstream logo. Hmm. Six skis with slipstream printed on the laminated top layer, okay? What is this? Production schedule, filament memory. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? Production schedule, filament memory. The the cube-like scissors of filaments feels oddly fragile in your hand. Its intricate structure covered in dust. Silver tape on the side reads product schedule note. This filament contains information that can be read using a radio computer. Oh, is this the man? Ooh, what did I find? Looks like someone tried to reconceptualize their business here. I don't get it. Look, the skis and rotor blades both bear the same slipstream logo. It seems likely that they started out making one, failed to turn a profit, and then pivoted to producing the other. Hmm. But the question is. Which did they start with, and which did they pivot to? That's a good question. What a strange leap of imagination, and yet they still failed. How sad. That's just speculation, we don't know anything for sure. Let's be the first Reality one. is ruthless. Hmm. Maybe, but now we can do something with this, right? In the... Wow, here! Let's go here. Inside the production schedule. Still smoldering, casting the framework in a soft glow. Fluorescent play and print keys shine on the keyboard. Let's like see. a smooth draw, the filament slides into place. On the keyboard, the play key starts blinking. Now let's press play again. A bar of fabric right above the keyboard starts Ooh. producing a soft hum. The sound of static seeps through the machine's planar magnetic driver. Let's go. Have you stirred the ghost of the doomed commercial area from its rest? Could this be its dismembered heart beginning to flutter? No, no ghosts, no curse. Only real things. Oh no. It was already glowing and now it's also making a sound. Hmm. It's probably some alien seal like technology. Come on, no alien here. The static gets louder. Slowly filling up the abandoned hall until a voice speaks out, crackling and old, cutting into the air. What? Good morning, Circus Accident en rue de Saint-Gislain. This is East Indian Rapid Station 1. What? Please repeat. Is this the production schedule? What's the production schedule? The filament you have inserted into the reader. Hmm. You mean the glowing thing I put inside? I guess so. Alright, thanks for the explanation. That was a question. <laughs> have you inserted it into the core? Uh, I don't know. Uh, if you are unsure, could you please take a look? How do I do that? Open the hatch on the compartment. Don't touch the wires. A current is running through it. But the core is safe. There's a filament inside. I need to know what it's called. 
Okay, it's called the production schedule. Good. Please repeat the password. Do I have the password? Password. Of course it would have a password. That's why there's a human administrator involved. It is my bird eye, this is this police. Please open this thing. I don't know the password. A password? I'm really bad at password. Can you give me a hint? No. A hint system is not part of the protocol for repeater stations. Is it my birthday? Still no. This is the police. Please open this thing. I am contractually obliged to protect the privacy of the filament holder for press accident. Without filing a warrant with Lintel, I cannot give you access to this filament. Come on. I'm afraid we are not doing that. Unless we want to wait for a month. Now, can you please repeat the password? Hmm. Well, I don't know the password. Received. I will register this login attempt. Okay. That sounds bad. A login attempt. Something a criminal would do. Well, not... Mm, why? Maybe not. Don't worry. Passwords have a way of turning up sooner or later. Yeah, I want to discover this password now. Fortress accident. Is there anything else I can do for you today? Why did you call me Fortress accident? Fortress accident is the company on whose name the terminal you are currently using has been registered to. Do you have any other information about this company? One moment. Who? This can be helpful. Fortress Accident hmm. SCA produces revolutionary interactive call-in radio games. That's what the catalog says. Hmm. That's not bad. 5 XP gained. Wow, so conceptual. And uh, what's that? Let me see. Hmm. What's that interactive call-in radio game? Any other questions? Yes. Was it that not a question? Okay. What are you, machine or are you alive? Yes, I am alive. I am 74 years old. Oh, 74 years old. Born. Pretty old. Yvonne. She repeats passwords. Programming people are all paranoid. Hmm. Yvonne, my partner, tells me what you are here because already the computer gets all partner. Okay, but where are you? How did you know where I am? Yvonne, my partner tells me that you here because already the computer guys are all porn. <laughs> they are merely cautious. It's my job to protect their filaments as a password repeater at the East Insulindian Station. Okay, but where are you? How do you know where I am? I work as a repeater at the East Insulindian Repeater Station. It's my job to know where you are for this accident. Okay. As for me, well, I am sitting in my cubicle, surrounded by a wall of radios. Okay. On an island on the River Esperance, <laughs> a small woman, all skin and bones, sits in a room filled with audio equipment. Thousands of tiny lights are reflected back from her prescription lenses, like stars in the dark. <laughs> now. Please tell me if there's anything else I can do for this accident. That's all for now. Thank you, and goodbye. The old lady's voice disappears along with Stead. Tiles on the cube are still smoldering, casting the framework in a soft glow. Fluorescent play and print keys shine on the keyboard. You know what? Let's remove the production. The filament slides out of its glowing nest. I can put inside when I want. Okay? But in the meantime, I can take that with me. I don't know. Maybe it will be helpful some way. Now I have a point. Authority, minus one. Give a point to authority was not bad. Volition, two. But I'm going to give this point. If I'm going to give this point, let me see. Maybe I want to unlock another of these things. Maybe. 
Look at how many. I don't know. I guess for now we're gonna let's see. Some block thing that I can't. Where is this? Did I use the wrong? Oh yeah, I clicked the wrong button. Now this I can do. Electrochemistry in the mirror. Map wall challenging. This is important. The map. Hmm. We want two. Interfacing. What is this? Knick knack stand. I don't remember this. Where this is. But this is important. So. Interfacing, right? So let's do with interfacing. Where, let me see. Where is this interfacing? It is four. It's pretty much up already. But let's do it again. This is important. I choose so we're gonna try to steal the map again that's something that for sure we're gonna do now can we leave this absolutely and now we can go back right and uh, how do I go back not from here let's go from uh, here right no maybe here yeah this is the way back absolutely this is from here right oh uh, yeah look at where we are we are here and we are back let me open the door let's talk to the lady now and let's stole the fucking map too i hope now we can because that's important and i don't want to pay i need uh, still money for pay the rent okay and sleep so let me see. Don't waste money. Now I can do this too. For interfacing. The fact the fact is that these I remember. These I don't remember. This knickknack stand. Where is he? Where is it? And why I need that? I don't remember. Hmm. But yeah. At least now let's remove this, right? Yeah. Let's hold this in the right arm. Yeah, doesn't change nothing, I guess. But yeah, I want to do like this. And now, yeah. Let's talk to the lady. You're alive and well. Don't hmm. keep me waiting now. What's in there? In that dark sarcophagus. The dark sarcophagus. Yes, yes. How was it? Hmm. Tell her how ghastly it was. You hmm. know it's what she wants to hear. No. Honestly, a dump. Nothing to see here. Just here. Heaps of garbage. Someone should let the sunshine in. I have no opportunity to give you our personal opinions. It was Charnel House of Failed Business Enterprise. Leeching life energy from this bookstore. I knew it. Oh, such horrors that have been thrust upon us. But, hmm. what else did you find? Did anything survive? No, of course not. Hmm. Have you located the entity? I talked to the entity. You told me about her. her name is Neha and she's a novelty dice maker. A novelty dice maker? Yes. Well, spit it out. Why does she need the dice? For some kind of sorcery? Sometimes they use the ankle bones of sheep. Come on. She's not a sorceress. Or some malicious entity. She's a businesswoman like you. No, ma'am, I have felt the horror. She's not the one to blame for this curse. She's maybe involved, but I don't have any way of questioning the malignant. Number one, she's not a sorceress or some malicious entity. She's a businesswoman like you. I don't understand. If it's not her, then where is the source of the doom? How did she explain the curse? Well... Before you say anything, ask yourself. Is the woman really able to withstand the truth? Well, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna tell the truth. The narrative she's built herself, it does need tearing down. <laughs> she's squeezing on the pendant too tight. A drop of blood in her palm. Oh my god. To hell with it. Perchance you ought to just lie, sire. She says there is no curse because there are too many inconsistencies. 
Lie, the source is the taxidermist shop. Honestly, I don't have any answer yet. There are still lengths to be followed, like the strange radio computer. You know, there is another entity, more malignant, pulling the strings, Martin. Perhaps, no. Number one, she says there is no curse because there are too many inconsistencies. Hmm. Too many inconsistencies? What kind of talk is that? Talk, Could real talk. Like persuading her. Some people can rationalize anything. Hmm. First, you are one of those inconsistencies. <laughs> well, as I said, she now not a dice maker. Her business has been up and running for a long time now. Number one. I am not doing as well as it looks like I am. I only have my Simonese wards to thank for the protection they provide. Okay. As I said, she's a novelty dice maker. Her business has been up and running for a long time now. Yes, because her business consists of the psychic leech that's been feeding the curse. No. I see that you've fallen for her manipulation. No. Objective. The investigation is over. I just hope that you haven't made anything worse by going in there. Thank you for nothing. Please, do buy some books or be on your way. I'm gonna store your fucking map, okay? Wow. Total psychic collapse between you two right now. There was never any other way this could have gone. She's just too far gone into her own mind. Yeah. I am sorry we had to disappoint you, ma'am. Can we go now? Yeah, let's go. Now let's talk to the girls first. And then let's see. Hi, Ace Detective. Are you here for more books? Ooh. Can we try this? It's still low. So is this the thing that I... Let me see. No, this is interfacing. Hmm, still low now. Okay, bye, I, I guess. Now let's go try the map. That's why I... Let me see. Oh, oh, what's this? Everyone knows the most interesting thing about fascists was their magic. Fake magic, maybe. I don't know. Let's go. Several maps have been attached to a bulletin board hidden inside the alcove. They're held up by small pins. The board has come loose from one corner. Okay. The maps look old and faded. Your eye catches a map of Insulinda. A map of Revachov. 42. A map of Martinez. Let's try. What? You yes! Give me the map! Distracted. Yes. When she's not looking, you definitely rip the map off the bulletin board and pocket it. You're now the proud owner of a map of Martinez, which, to be honest, did not even cost that much. Okay, but I don't have money. Come on. I'm a no money guy, okay? So let's go. Pretty good, if you ask me. Now I'm gonna save. I feel so proud of what happened. You know, I stole something. You don't have to feel proud when you stole something. But in my situation, come on, do you see me? No money, no place to stay, no nothing. Come on. Let me see that. I can interact with this. Whoa. Let's interact, I say. Map of Martinize. A worn and torn map of Martinize area. Dating from 48. A title on the top reads. Bienvenue a Revachol. Wow. It's a bit out of date. And it's, it, has, it was originally created by a design studio in a failed attempt to spruz up Martinize and turn it into a fancy tourist location. You know what? Actually, if you ask me, I like the fact that it's an old map. Because old map can reveal old things, okay, that maybe doesn't exist anymore. But when you are in a place, you know that things existed. Because there's the map that's old. And with the things that you know, you can search for things, for old things, that maybe you can find, maybe some secret things, or something like that. It can be something valuable for investigations. Because maybe the man that, that hanging from the tree, has some old stories behind him 
and that's why they killed him. And this map, since it's old, can uh, can help, okay? Because it's old, so you know, like from some meme, like, you know the meme when he says "hold but gold." Yeah, this is old but gold. That's the same thing. So let's interact with the map. Let me see that. Features the patchwork grid of the streets of Martinez, with oh. directions to appropriately touristy locations. Year 48 resides on the upper right corner. Trace a path through the grid. Your finger moves through the various streets. Across hmm. Rue de Saint Ghislain and Rue saint Sibar, over hmm. saint Blum and Martinez North. Hmm. Finally, come into a halt on the spot where you are currently standing. Although the map gives no such indication itself. Hmm. All right. So I have some knowledge now. And now if I go here and I go to the map. Whoa. There's a map. And there was Kuno. Right on the map. I'm here. Yeah, it's not most, uh, you know, it's not the best map ever. But look at this. Look at the city. At least... I know what to explore and by the way there was something uh, I guess in the fisherman's shacks that I need to check out or no here this boat maybe I can sleep on this boat or something I need to see but yeah this is pretty nice if you ask me perfect execution so now I have a map I did the right thing now I want to check out this kickstand uh, yeah, I don't know where to go there now. Let's save. Already save, by the way. Let me see. Let me change something here. First. Let's go. Perfect execution. Let me check out if everything is okay. If the software is recording. And yeah, it's recording pretty good. So, perfect. So, let's talk to this guy. This is new. He's a girl. How can I? I don't understand characters if they are male or female in this fucking game. So, you see a sturdy woman humming out to herself. She seems to be browsing books. A good one? Point at the book. Hello. No ceremonies, just hello. No, a good one? Yes. Hello. Hmm. She nods her attention, fully focused on reading. Who are you? Me? No one. I'm just a working class woman. Hmm. If she's such a working class woman, why isn't she working? <laughs> Should a working class woman be working? Not all the time. Right now I'm browsing books. Even a working class woman needs something to read. Hmm. Phenomenal. Good, good. It is. I'm a policeman. I know you are. Hmm. Everyone can see that. The rectangles. <laughs> Do you need the help from a po good then? Mm -hmm. Do you need help from a policeman? What with? She tries hard to focus on the book stand. Help her by carrying things? <laughs> hmm. Maybe she needs a weightlifter. Maybe she needs you to fight her husband. No, that's not it. Watch your bro's book. That's all. Maybe your husband is missing. My husband? No, he's not. <laughs> but why I'm doing this conversation? Come on. So where could he be? I don't know. At home now? Out drinking with his friends? <laughs> working? <laughs> where is this going, officer? So what I'm hearing is you don't really know where your husband is. Yes, but I don't really need to know where my husband is. Not all the time. Wouldn't you like to? No. <laughs> Whoa. I can totally help you find your missing husband. Come on. Suit yourself then. I don't really care if your husband is missing. Maybe you're right. Maybe he's missing indeed. Of course he's not. It's not like he's a pocket watch. <laughs> I wouldn't just lose him. It's got to be something else then. Why else would you be asking her if it wasn't? Kids are always going missing. Hmm. We pathetic kids, always getting themselves killed. Hmm. It's too much for kids, come on. Maybe your children are missing? No, absolutely not. Okay, so where are they? 
Are you a policeman or a nanny? Hmm. Nanny, what are they? They are not missing, sir. Hmm. You know where they are. They're at home. Smoking. Giving the ladder of vices a chance. I don't know. Maybe she is the mom of Kuno? I don't think so. They're at home, right? Smoking cigarettes. What? That's just... My daughters are perfectly fine. They're with their friends down in Jamrock. There's nothing to worry about. Hmm. They're almost grown up now anyway. They're past the age they need me protecting them from everything now. I'm afraid the danger is now greater than ever. Tell me, how old are they? My youngest girl, Jolie, is just shy of 16. Okay. Jenny, she is turning 18 next month. But hmm. we shouldn't even be talking about them. And can you describe me their appearance? Any features that send out something to make it the type of a little easier? Why do you need to know this? Haven't I repeatedly told you that they are not missing? That they are in Jamrock, safe and well, at some stupid party. Did someone say party? Hmm. You could use a party. Hunt it down. It's for investigation. I'm trying to be professional. Well, Alright, let's not talk about your daughter. Let's put it in this way, because I know it's weird. So at least let's say that it's for the investigation. There is no investigation here. I can tell you that. Mm. Girl, how do you know that I'm not investigation on something? And maybe your children is involved. Okay? She picks up a book and tries to concentrate. A flock of cerebids pass by. Okay, it must be asked then. What are you doing here? Why hmm. are you pursuing this? Is it a hunch? I don't know what I'm doing for sure. Maybe your cockatoo is missing. I don't mean to disrespect, sir, but you are being a bit of a cockatoo here. Oh, for what it's worth, I agree. But cockatoos can't be stopped when they get like this. It's better to indulge him at this point. Ma'am, I was asking about your cockatoo. It is missing. I don't even have a cockatoo. And guess what? Hmm. It's a trap. Never ever say what. Oh, all right. Cockatoo not missing. I just wanted to make sure. Great. Just one more question. What did you mean by me being a cockatoo? Nothing. Go read up on them if you're so interested. There's a great book in the bookstore. Hmm. Maybe you should. What if the cockatoo is your astral captain? Hmm. Or your heraldic bird? Well, uh, actually, this is only what I'm going to do. Thanks for help. Oh. Well, a new task. Let, get, give me that. Wonderful. The store is open. Watch her browse books. Her hands move over the book covers. The tips of her fingers look rough. Mm. Stained with yellow. It seems like she has spent a lot of time at work, smoking. Okay. An array of neurons fire up with joy. Bum her a cigarette, lest it turn to pain. Hmm. Do you smoke? No, I don't. I know for a fact that you smoke. Let me see. Why do you think that I smoke? I, it's the kind of place where everyone does. I suspect I may possess a supernatural... Your hands look like they belong to a heavy smoker. It's not like yours look much better. Hmm. Take a look at your hands. She is right. Your hands look even worse than hers. Mm -hmm. With tiny cuts and gushes covering your skin like a spider web. Your fingertips have become an ugly shade of brown. Hmm. These are the hands of someone who spoke for at least 20 years, as yeah. evidenced by the discoloration of fingers. Marks on your skin may point to past quarrels. Just give me a cigarette, please. I already told you, I don't have any. Go bother someone else. She's lying. She's goddamn lying. She has smokes. Do you know where I could get a new pack? Okay, then. Just give me your cigarettes, okay? Don't lie. Sorry, officer. Do you know where I could get a new pack? From the kiosk? There's one near the harbor. It's a free time. Hmm. You can look it up. Hmm. Okay, thanks, no problem. She sighs. That's all for the moment. I'll let you read. The woman before you nods 
and returns to her reading. She's saying like, finally, she, he lets me read. Finally, I can't. Okay. All right. So what's about this? Why? Now I have to find your heraldic bird. Oh my God. At least I have time, infinite time to do it. It's not timed. The working class woman said that you are a bit of a cockatoo. What if it's true? Go read up on cockatoos in the bookstore. Maybe you'll discover something new about yourself as well. Maybe. Who knows? So now what? Now we're gonna talk to people to union, right? Let me see. No, no. What is this, by the way? Let me see. There's something to do here. The dented yellow mailbox greets no. you. So I need to... Ooh, bullets? Oh. Yeah, I don't have any, by the way. Yeah, I have a map, by the way. And I don't know. I want to do this. Oh, now it shows me. Ooh, thank God that I have a map. Nick Nick Stand, what is this? Where I'm here, where I'm at? This is where I'm at, right? Let's go here to Nick Nick Stand, okay? Where is that? Okay. So it's like nearby, right? Who is this? Okay, you ain't got shit. And uh, so, let me see. There's these guys too. I don't remember I talked to them. To them, or maybe, and this maybe is here that I have to do some. I don't know where where the kickstand. Maybe it's in the car. The worn and beaten wooden plank. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. Okay, and here, let me see. I want to try different things. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone. A pull out. No. I don't remember. But it's gonna be near somewhere. So let's go. Now here. Maybe to him again. This lying bitch. This is smoking in front of me. He says I don't smoke. Jam, man. What's on your mind? <sighs> this is too much for now. So not now. So let's try maybe. Maybe here somewhere. Ooh! Oh yeah! Look at what I found! This is a plastic bag. Do you know what it mean? What this means? I can collect plastic bottles. I can sell them. Ooh! Give me that. Can you run? Yeah, run for us, run. Yellow plastic bag. Give me that. Whoa. Yellow plastic bag. Frida. Equip this to collect tear from the streets. This plastic bag is a Frida. Sick. Written on the dy dynamic, forceful manner that in place the great price. As you crack it open, a multi gust of air flies in your face. Smells of yeast and beer. A perfect place for tear. Yeah, give me that. Can I use like in my hand? Yeah, that I can. Yeah, now I look like. <laughs> yeah, let's collect things. Plastic tear. Give me that. Yeah, now we're gonna. Ooh, we're gonna search for all the things, right? What's this? Is this the. Ooh, give me money. Wow, look at this. 16. Almost. What's this? Oh, and this too. I can collect this. Let's go. By the way, let me see. If I remove the plastic bag, for example, from my hands, can I still collect things? No, I can't. Oh, all right. All right. Let's take that. 
Yeah, give me this. Now I'm gonna search through all the place. What is this? Ooh. Yeah, the price are low. But I guess the more I collect. This coin operated viewer is facing southwest. Its coin slot is full of fossilized bubblegum, mm. rendering the machine permanently inaccessible. Poor little viewer, Paddy. The metal feels cold and wet under your palm. It looks unhygienic. Hmm. Vandalism. Shake your head. Probably some kids. Hmm. A simple but clever solution to ruin in a coin-operated viewer. It took ingenuity. Look inside. A thick layer of graffito covers the lenses. Okay. You spell out the word owner written on the other side with N and C scribbled backwards. Hmm. That's Kuno on the lens. Oh, yeah, that's Kuno. Under the graffito, a sea of greens and greys appear. Behind the water lies a coast studded with concrete and reeds. On it, a church on stilts. Lanky weather-worn wooden planks. An X-shaped cross topping its tower. So it's unusable because of Kuno. As he always. Knows this to be the star of Perikonesis or the Cairo. The central symbol of the Perikonesian church. A star. A great moral height to be strived towards. Okay. The church looks old and weather-worn. There are no lights in the windows. Okay. Around the large wooden building you see chunks of sea ice gathered on the beach and a small tent set up on the ice. Hey, let me see here just a second. He's still working. Perfect. 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 So, okay. Now, let's see the other one, right? There's another one here. I didn't see that in the first place, but now This yeah. coin-operated viewer is facing south. The instruction manual says to insert 25 centimes and pull the handle while looking inside. Then, use the focus knob to zoom in if necessary. Okay. Why place a tourist attraction in the middle of such poverty? I guess here I want to spend some money, just to see. Uh, there's not too much money. And I'm uh, collecting, uh, you know, bottles, so let's try. What's tourist attraction doing here? There was a revitalization project in 49. A design studio tried restoring Martinez to its pre-war glory. It didn't stick. Okay, what happened? They got as far as the street lamps and the statue on that intersection. Then something went sour. I suspect that something was Eva Claire. The hmm. union leader. He muscled them out. It's how it usually goes around here. Cool. I dig organize, organized crime. It's the best. That's odd. I could swear you were a police officer. Yeah, but... I wanted to try say that just to see what Kim would say. Let's pay. Your money disappears into the coin slot. A wow. Clock, the ring of metal. Money lost. Okay, it's not like you use the money. You lost them. Come on. First and last time. Okay, pull the handle and look inside. The curtains on the display open. You lean in to catch the view. It's blurry. Different blues and greens. In the middle of the shimmer stands a drab gray shape. Like a ghost. Turn the knob to focus your vision. The lenses shift. All right. The ghost Experience. sharpens into an islet in the bay. In the ruins, a man-made structure is visible. A half-sunken sea fort. It's concrete almost reconquered by nature. Well, if you ask me, 25 cents for uh, five experience? All right, that's good. It looks as if it was abandoned quite some time ago. Nothing but a rotten tooth remains of the anti-aircraft tower. A lonely birch tree grows out of it. There are ruins of some kind of building there. Really? I don't have the eyesight to make it out. Well, I have, but yeah. Pretty interesting. I hope I don't have to pay again. I hope, uh, yeah. Let's go. So, what I'm going? Yeah, search for... Uh, like this. Yeah, give me that. What? Hey. You, do you think that or not? Give me that. Okay. 
So I can recover the 25 cents that I've lost, right? Oh, look at this. Oh, is this the... Just an ordinary war. Nothing to see. No, but it's not here, by the way. And this, what is this? Oh, give me that. All right. Here. Whoa, there's too much things to, to take. And this thing too, right? Oh, that's closed. But you know what? Let me remove this for a second. Let me get the pry bar. Okay. Whoa! Signal blue naval coat. Plus one suggestion, plus minus one half light. Give me that. This feels cool if you ask me. Whoa, look at this. Wow, Signal Blue Novel Coat. This classic double breasted, <laughs> breasted coat suits everyone, including you. And if you ever find yourself battling wines in the helm of a strip, of a ship, then this coat have fabric has got your back. Even if most moths, oh, come on, I'm reading so trash this part, moths have left a few holes in it. Give me that, right? Whoa. This is cool if you ask me. Yeah, textures are shitty. Details too. But yeah, this is cool if you ask me. Pretty damn cool. Maybe if I use this, let me see this glows. Plus one interfacing and this in plus one electrochemistry. Let me try, just try. Whoa, this is cool, but yeah. Guess I'm gonna stay with my yellow clothes just because I need them uh, for first of all the interfacing. This is that one I need now. And uh, it's a little bit better, but okay, all right. Wow, now I'm. What I lost, by the way. Plus one, exprit the corpse. But I get. This is, this is like, plus one conceptualization, minus one suggestion. But I get, in exchange, plus one suggestion, minus one half light. I don't know, it's cool, let's try this. Can I take this? Give me that. Oh, I can take a lot of things now. I want to talk to this guy, by the way. I feel like this guy here is gonna be helpful for sleeping. Let me talk to him. A striking woman. Is a her? Is she? Come on. Smiling as you approach, her green raincoat glistens with droplets. A silk scarf is tied around her throat. Can I guess? For one fucking time, who is a male, who is a female? Come on. Good morning, officers. I'm Joyce. Who? Oh. Joyce L. Messier. I represent the board of Wild Pines, the owners of the harbor. You gentlemen Ooh. must be from the RCM. Wild Pines? That's good for investigation. Whoa. She steps closer and holds her, out her hand over her railing. Joyce? Hell? What does L stands for? Layton, my maiden name. Hmm, Joyce Layton. Hmm. Her bunny hand dangles from the sleeve of her oversized raincoat. Raincoat. What gave us anyway? Nothing, honestly. I've said it to every drunk in town, and you're the first one who's responded. <laughs> Relax. She meant it in jest. I hope so. Shake a hand. I'm glad to oh. see you here. I misclicked. The woman and the lieutenant exchanged a brief handshake. I was dispatched to handle a strike, not a lynching. Anything I can do to assist the RCM in this matter, I will, gladly. Absolutely. That is good to hear, madame. My colleague will take the lead on this interview. I should let you know that he is recovering from an unusual medical episode. Very <laughs> unusual. <laughs> But I can assure you of his ultimate competency. Okay. How interesting. She I wish turned... you a swift recovery. In the meanwhile, you have my full cooperation and the full cooperation of the Wild Pines group. Perfect execution. That's what I want. You are on a boat. Why? Yes, I am. She looks at the deck under the air feet. 
Green and white sails flutter over it. Uh, look at the fishes in the water. Since I'm a fisherman in here life, I'm, I'm wondering. How is it gonna be fish in this place? Uh, like the water feels like uh, super polluted in a, in a heavy way. I don't know. And a lot of people on boats are hard there. Of course there are. We're on an archipelago. How else are you supposed to get around? Hmm. Wait. We are on an archipelago? Yes, we are. We are on Le Caillou. Who? Oh. Technically, the neighboring Ozone and Fas Alamer island groups are archipelagos, while La Caillou, by contrast, is a single fertile landmass, the hmm. fourth largest island in the world. Whoa. It is not an archipelago. Wait, I thought La Caillou was on one big island. Okay. If you want to get technical, the point is we're all on islands here and sail is still the most expedient way to get from one island to, to another, yeah. especially when you're in a hurry to resolve a strike. Okay, still I haven't seen anyone else sail a boat around here. I haven't seen anyone else drive a souped up Coupri Kenema motor carriage either. Hmm. Actually, that motor carriage has been specially issued to serve as a patrol and pursuit vehicle. Hmm. It's for crossing long distances in the Greater Ravachol Industrial Harbor. So now I, I'm wondering how this did Kim bring that Knema here? Hmm. Maybe with another big boat. Okay. Yeah. Neither is this. A toy, I mean. It's a machine for crossing long distances in the Bay of Ravachol between the city and the islands. Okay. You need to make this lady admit she's only riding around on this boat because she's rich. Mm. Why, in fact? Why what? Stop thinking. Take her down. I'll come off like I'm envious and I'm not. Why am I even thinking about this? I have all this work to do, yeah. Have it your way. Does she have a name? The boat? No. It is called Cordelati 19 because that's the type of sloop it is. Hmm. Okay, but what kind of boat is it? It's a pleasure craft. A 19 pacer. It hmm. also happens to be rated for Category 1 racing. Though these days I mainly use it for business. Wow. How do you like it? My sloop? I like it a lot. Hmm. It's the eel's hips, baby. The hills, hips, huh? I'm enjoying this part of the interview. It has so little to do with the murder we're investigating. Kim likes a lot. Boat, cars, you know, things like that. Wow. Do we have a license for this boat? Officer, I assure you I'm a highly qualified pleasure craft operator. Hmm. The crowns of her teeth are porcelain, white as the boat's hull as she smiles. Hmm. Qualified pleasure craft operator. So charming. Where's the damn license? Can I see your license? I just renewed its safety inspection last month, officers. It is completely seaworthy. In fact, it's taken part in not one, but two insulindic regattas. Even finished once. What happened the other time? The other time, I would have finished the race were it not for an urgent work matter. Much like the one I'm on now. Still need to see a license, ma'am. Actually, you don't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. I police. Or what do you mean? Yeah. The Wayfarer Act specifically denies the RCM the authority to demand anyone's operator license. It's a little known fact among us law officials. <laughs> the Wayfarer Act is one of the few pieces of legislation governing human interaction in the Revachon Zone of Control. Hmm. Along with the Emergency Trade and Ailments Acts. Okay, so... The what now? It's one of the foundational laws in Revachon, designed to limit the authority of local institutions. Part of it prohibits the RCM from requesting most documents and licenses without permission from a coalition representative. Okay. It's a law that keeps Revachon what it is, in limbo. All right, so wait, exactly how little known is this fact? I was just being polite. 
Even school children know the Wayfarer Act. My brain is so bad. And I slipped. Badly, but I slipped. And I didn't take speed this time. What the f... More like the Anarchy Act in my opinion. So we can't pull over random civilians and demand their papers? That's weak. Unless it's their passport. No. Do you want to ask for the lady's passport? No need. Of course. Any more questions about the boat, sir? I think I have a, I have a handle on the boat thing. Good. So, tell me about Wild Pines. What do you do? What we do? I'm He's afraid I don't speak for Wild Pines as a whole. It, it's a giant undertaking. This is the interesting part. Let's go. There was a touch of discomfort there. She wants to merely represent. So what do they do? The Pines' core competency is logistics. Container shipping, freight, that sort of thing. See those airships there, blinking? Those are the shipping side of things. Okay. And that is the terminal. Another subdivision deals with energy, oil and gas exploration. Offshore platforms. Okay. The Wild Pines Group is one of the original Revisholian Indo tribes. Companies awarded royal monopolies by the king, the suzerain himself, centuries ago. The king is long gone, but several of the Indo tribes remain. Okay, who are the other Indo tribes? Son Baptiste, L U M, an unknown entity known as Brightest Star. Brightest Star? You're in good company, it seems. Why thank you? Why thank you? She does not register the real meaning of the remark. How much money does Wild Pines have? I'm not at liberty to discuss the company balance sheet, but I can tell you that last year the company booked more than 20 billion real in revenue. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, 20 billion? That's a lot. I don't have money. I have 15 real. What the hell? So, wow. 20 billion is a large number, but the conglomerate employs 72,000 people. They all need to be paid. Then That's there are capital lot. improvements, interest payments. Okay. A conglomerate the size of the wild pines is like a shark. If it stops moving, it will die. Then what becomes of those 72,000 families? It's a tremendous responsibility. Mm. Where does wild pines get all these billions? They started as an exploration and cargo fleet then? conducting trade between the Samaran and Insulindian Isolas 250 years ago when pine ships explored the South Seminese and charted Lormantanga on behalf of the suzerain. Okay. Centuries of care, deliberation and madness have gone into this endeavor. Vessels pass through the great unrest to re-emerge with apricots in tow. The logic of the system is totalizing. It's taken everything from its employees to build it. Hmm. So, it probably helps to start out with a royal monopoly. You know more than you let on. Certainly it helped, but most of the original Indo tribes have failed or been hmm. absorbed. To survive, Wild Pines had to grow and adapt. No suzerain did that. Hmm. What does... Let me see. What does such a large system want with a place like this? Yeah, that's true. The, here, this is a place where the economy is almost dead, and uh, I don't know what's important. What's here that's so important to this big company to stay here, or even here? You mean aside from being the terminal's legal owners, hmm. who are responsible for moving eight percent of the world's cargo? Whoa. 8% of all cargo in the world? That's quite endeavor indeed. There are no minor cogs in the system. Each terminal must be accounted for, lest the entire system break. Every hiccup in such a system means thousands lose their jobs, the world over. I'm here to assure that doesn't happen. Hmm. With your help, hopefully, says her warm tone. Hmm. With my help, huh? What can you tell me about the strike? Everything. Right up to, but not including, trade secrets. 
Whoa. Wait, what if I want to hear about trade secrets? First, you'd have to repeal the Emergencies Act of Trade and Elements. That gives me the right to silence. It's quite the octopus. An octopus always late. Good luck. It's only kept in place by the vested interests of half the civilized world, including your own. Hmm. What the man means is that the Emergencies Act and the RCM both get their authority from the coalition government. Hmm. You'd be shooting yourself in the foot, in other words. Leave it alone. But I am derailing us. You wanted to know about the strike. Yeah. What is your role in this, precisely? I believe the official title is Senior Labor Negotiator. In practice, I'm a grocery clerk. Hmm. I relay the union's demands to Wild Pines and return with Wild Pines' counteroffer. By the way, let me read the, the things that I unlocked. I have unlocked, let me see. The 15 Hindu tribe. Wow. Wild Pines, Feld, Co Copris, Trisenel, Willers, and Lassau. Names of Revacholian Hindu tribes spring into your head. Set loose a dimension of wild pines, royal monopolies, octopuses, and swordfish. Most of them gone now. YBP, Expander, Saint Baptiste, Brightest Star, LUM, Resplendent, East Insulindic, Welder, and El Cassette. But isn't one missing? Wait, no, there were only 14. Then why do you feel like there's a 15 in the tribe? No, this is gonna be cool to internalize, but I need to unlock this and I don't want to waste. Maybe. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we do that. Let's see. Maybe next time here. Why not? Maybe we're gonna try. Let's see. For now, let's continue this conversation. And how are the talks going? They're hmm. not. That's the problem. The Union stopped all negotiations a week mm. ago, after that awful lynching took place. This is gonna be helpful before we talk to the union guys in the in the bar because that's what we're gonna do now they won't even let me into the harbor there's a two meter 20 racist behemoth blocking the gates whoa oh yeah the the guy tell oh this is gonna help maybe even with the big guy maybe we can talk out something tell us more about this behemoth what can i say the union employs a giant covered in tattoos a racist giant. I guess that's part of their big tent organization now. Okay. How were the talks going before lynching? Let's say I was not making the kind of progress I'd hoped for when I first arrived. Okay. And when did you first arrive? Hmm. I arrived three weeks ago. Yes, in the middle of February. The bay was still partially frozen then. I prefer to do these things on site, like the RCM. Okay. But the strike began in December. I wasn't the original negotiator here. I took over after Mr. Gaumont hit a wall with Mr. Clare, hmm. the union boss. Mr. Clare refused to speak with Gaumont despite concessions he granted the union in prior negotiations. We need to talk to the union boss. This isn't the first time the union has gone on strike. Heavens no. There have been two prior strikes. Ooh. Both times the union won significant concessions. Ooh including overtime pay and a medical plan. This time their demands are more, I guess you could say, aggressive. Yeah. Ludicrous, Eva. I heard about it's that. Meant. What happened to this Gaumont? Mr. Clare told him to... How did he put it? Hmm. Fuck off, midget. <laughs> Gaumont is short of stature, you see. Hmm. Okay, then. Yes. Keep in mind... This is a negotiator Mr. Clare has worked with before, and who was more than fair with him and the Union. Whoa. What are they, the demands? There are leaflets everywhere, and banners. What did they say again? Oh yes, every worker, a member of the board. Hmm. Most of the workers probably don't know what that means. Hmm. I don't know what to think about that. Over-aggressive. Kami posturing seems like they have no idea about business. Forget it. I want to ask something else. I don't know how to, what to think about that. Fortunately, they explained it. Every time the Wild Pines group makes a decision about anything, it needs the signature of each of the 2,200 workers in its Martinez terminal. Okay. Just so you understand, this is but one of 22 terminals owned by Wild Pines. Essentially, not only are they kings of the company, 
They are also kings of the 72,000 employees of Wild Pines Group. Okay, so... The workers can be kings. The king is king. Mm, maybe the king is dead. Long live the workers. What are you going to do? That's pretty funny, I have to admit. No, the workers can be kings, I guess. The king is king. Yeah, there's a reason. If the king is king and the workers are workers. That may well be. It's not up to me to decide who is king, but as negotiations go, it's not a swell start. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. Naturally, I assume that was just their opening position. A hard-nosed tactic with a side of mockery. But there's been no follow-up, just the same nonsensical slogan repeated over and over again. Okay. And now, people are getting lynched, I hear. Behind the whirling in rags. A disastrous situation if there ever was one. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lynched people behind the whirling in rags? The dead body? Yeah. Excuse me. From whom did you hear about this lynching? By the way, that's important. I first heard it from the boyer at the gates. The one whose very name advertises his aversion to work. I think he said it was, call me manana. Oh, manana. We know that guy. He gives me money. He gives me money too. This checks out. Hmm. No, wait. The chief negotiator heard it from a man at the gates. Surely the Wild Pines group has more effective channels of information. After all, 2,200 people are on strike. Hmm. This is a big deal for them. Hmm. So, uh, the scabs at the gate, did you put them there? The scabs? You mean the huddled masses of Jamrock come to plead for work where the Union refuses to? Hmm. If they were organized by Wild Pines or its affiliates, then it would be a company secret. I could not share it with you. Not right now, at least. Hmm, that's it's something. implied. She's open to discussing this matter with you at a later occasion. Okay, so tell me about this union boss, Mr. Clare. Everett Clare is a man of the utmost integrity. If you can say one thing about him, it's that he always puts the interests of the workers first. Really? Of course not. Everett is fantastically corrupt. I imagine he has a thick, viscous goo where you and I have blood. Well... He can't be that bad. Is it is that bad? I'm not saying nothing. He is the most corrupt individual I have ever seen. And I deal with men like him for a living. If there is anyone more venal, more irredeemably nepotistic, then it's his twin brother, Edgar. Whoa. Wait, there are two of him? Yes. Edgar looks exactly like his brother, except for that lazy eye. Edgar. He also talks exactly like Edward does. And when one's term as foreman is up, the other takes over. I don't like this. This is gonna be tricky, even for investigations. We have two. If one of them killed the guy behind the whirling in rags, who? The lazy eye one, Edgar, or the other one, Everard? Whoa. This is gonna be pretty. Crazy, things are evolving in a way that, whoa, this can take. This investigation is going to be pretty hard, trust me. It's how they circumvent the term limits, you see, with a funny little switcheroo. While in office, they've embezzled God knows how much of their workers' dues. Okay, so what about unit itself, outside the brothers, Claire? The Daybarder's union was once a perfectly normal institution, 20 years ago anyway. It must not have been easy to establish under the Emergency Act, but they did it. I can respect that. Okay. Organized labor at its best, as they say. Then something happened in the local chapter elections. The brothers Claire came and transformed it into a... How do you say? Mm. A mob. The debardeurs are a crime syndicate. Hmm. Sad as it may be, I suspect we'll be forced to cooperate with them. A mob, huh? Refreshingly honest, officer. The company has tried appeasing in the past, but I'm afraid our concessions have only emboldened Everard and his brother. Okay. And your opinion, detective, if I may ask. I'm a curious and talkative person, you see. Would you say the Daybarder's union is 
Hmm. By the way, finally, I want to say this before we answer. Finally, finally, an almost normal person in this fucking city that can speak, they say how to speak, they know how to speak, and they, that speaks and say shit. Finally. So what she is uh, asking us, let me read for, uh, let me pay attention here. Would you say that the Bardera's union is? Mm. An effective advocate for the rights of local working men. A generally each sucking life, to, uh, the life out of Revacho. Basing a socialist mob, I prefer not to have an opinion on these things. Number two, let's try. Indeed. And a hungry one. Sadly, while Give me the money! Money, 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 money. Syndicate for two decades. However much you feed the leech, the leech always hungers. Hmm. So one more thing. You said something happened in the elections. I'm glad you asked. Experience. The woman, the previous forewoman of the union. She disappeared. Woman? Disappeared? Disappeared? Yes. On the last day of the local chapter elections, her daughter phoned in and said she wasn't running anymore, or coming to work, ever. End of story. Eerie? Yeah, we heard about that. Yeah. Downright haunting, if you ask me. The Wild Pines suspected foul play, but what could they do? It was a union matter. Hmm. The point of the presentation is, these kinds of things happen around Claire's. Watch out when you're dealing with him. Okay, Thank I will. Thank you for your concern, ma'am. We'll be just fine. So, that's all I need here. Let's change the topic. Wow. How she has so much to tell us. This is fantastic, if you ask me. So, what can you tell me about this lynching? Quite a few things, I'm afraid. Okay, tell me. The information I'm to share with you includes yes. sensitive trade secrets. Experience. For the sake of my employer, I have to ask for your names and badge numbers. Mm. I don't remember shit about mine things. Of course, ma'am. We should have introduced ourselves. Okay. I am Lieutenant Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. Okay. And this is my colleague from Precinct 41. I'm afraid he doesn't have his badge at the moment. I hope mine will suffice. Hmm. How curious. Why is that, Detective? Remember when my partner told you the recently suffered from unusual medical episode? My lost badge is related to it. I see. So, are you saying you lost your badge during the course of this episode? It's possible. After a night of heavy drinking, I lost all memory of my life in the world. I could... Let me see. I could eat them for... Eat for all, you know? I don't remember anything. This world, this city, nothing. Mm, yes. You know what? Let's say everything to her. I don't know why, but she's the only person that can talk. Okay, and talk good. I want to be honest with her. Maybe this will help. Maybe. I'm not sure. It's like I don't have to say these things. Okay, to people. Because I'm a police officer. But at the same time, let's say yes. Okay. I can't hear you, darling. Speak up, please. Come on. They made this on purpose. I need to choice. So, I could have eaten it for all, I know. I don't remember anything. This world, this city, nothing. Mm. Let's say this. I don't want to say I've drank, okay? Oh dear. I suppose this does explain some of the more curious turns in our conversation. Absolutely. She must have been suspecting something for a while now. Hmm. As I said, ma'am. His technique may be very unconventional, but he is an officer of the RCM. Hmm. Of course, I sympathize, but New I'm task. afraid I simply can't share anything more until I've seen that badge. Come on, is this for real? Come on, I hate this girl, come on. I didn't ask you for documents and things like that. I said, okay, and now you want to see my badge? She's a professional negotiator. 
Ooh. She should be open to some sort of mutually beneficial Ooh. arrangement. Can I try this? Oh, it cannot be retried. Let's try! Feelings Fuck. will guide the way. But madam, I need... Oh my god. But madam, I need to know about this lynching. It's very important to me. It's the case I'm solving. I assure you, it is no small matter for me either. We all share the responsibility for disarming this situation. I hope you have a badge for me as soon as possible. We have so much health, I have only this. Spread your hands. This is my entirely this is the entirety of my existence. Nah. You don't understand, it's not like a side case for me. This is a main thing. Trust me, officer. I am fully committed to resolving this impasse. This isn't some side gig for me. Okay. So let's try with this. I have to choose this, no matter what. You have so much health, I have only this. Spread your hands. This is the entirety of my existence. She's silent. The wind flaps the sail above her. Hmm. This boat, for example, and a home somewhere. I only have this case. Ah! Morale critical. Officer. Give me that. Officer, the carbon fiber hole cracks. I don't remember anything except this lynching. There is only this coast and this lynching. This case is what I will be known by. Let me try number one. You know, I don't mean to sound cold, but if you want something, you have to give something back. More than just guilt. Mm, okay. You're doing it. Despite your own best efforts, you're still getting it. Somehow. Hmm. I'll be frank with you. If I'm going to break protocol, I need to be able to justify it to my superiors. They're going to want to see something tangible. Like what? Union is conducting drug trade out of the harbor. Hmm. It's an open secret in Martinez. Surely it must not come as a complete surprise to the RCM either. Perhaps it's time to look into it. Hmm. Or you can find your badge, which honestly seems like a lost cause. Well, who knows? Detective, a word in private before we continue. Excuse us for a moment, madame. Yeah, let's talk to my friend. Let's see. This is not good. How did you hope it would go? Honestly, I was expecting you to use your unorthodox technique to keep her off balance and, you know, not volunteers to be her henchman. Well, that's what I wanted to do, but it failed! Oh, so we're henchmen now? This woman is running circles around us. She might have known about your misplaced badge all along. Or she's simply an adept improviser. Either way, we've played straight into her hands. Okay. Maybe this is all her plan. Hmm. She might have heard about you. So... The company must have more years on the ground. She could have known about my condition. What do you propose? That we don't investigate the drug trafficking? We could just, you know, find my badge. Let me see. Number no. two. If there is reasonable suspicion, we must investigate. Otherwise, she could claim we are siding with the Union. Hmm. Or that we are on their take. We'd never hear the end of it. Oh. What I propose is, we ask her, then we investigate, briefly. But do not share the outcome of this investigation with her. We tell her it's done, and demand for her information on the lynching. All right. So, yeah, so the company must have more ears on the ground. Let me try I this. wouldn't go that far. Her reaction did come off as sincere to me. I think she's just quick to adapt. She's a professional. Okay, we could just, you know, find my badge. Oh, that <laughs> would be fantastic, but do we have the time? Good luck! The world is large and your badge is 8 by 6 centimeters. The situation might have changed drastically by the time you locate it. Time is of the essence. Okay. You could request a new one from your station, but that would literally take months. Oh. Let's back to her then. So now, let me see, by the way. Do I have... Now, what's the item did I get? Oh, let me remove, by the way, this. Let me put this. What's the item that I get? It's me, or I don't see nothing. Mm. 
Maybe it's me. I don't know. By the way, Joyce informed Linsing. There is something she wants to tell you. You just have to present her with your badge to hear it. Or perhaps you did. If you did her a favor, she could wave off the formality. Whatever the case, you need to know what she knows. By the way, she's. A, mm, I'm angry with her. Okay, tell me. Good. What can I help you with? So. Okay, tell me about this alleged drug trafficking. It's quite straightforward. Someone is using Terminal B to smuggle raw ingredients from the Samaran Isola into Revachol, with the Union's blessing. Wild Pines has suspected it for years. Okay. Ingredients for what, ma'am? In fact. Meth and dextroamphetamine, GBL Ooh. and various synthetic psychedelics. Honestly, it might be quicker to say what you can't make from the stuff. Hmm. So... Let me get this straight. The materials come from Samara to Revatro through the terminal. Yes. After they clear the terminal, we lose track. Hmm. The actual production is taking place at various sites in and around Jamrock Quarter, north of here. Okay. Wild Pine seems to be well apprised of the local drug trade, man. Do you mean to say the Union also produces the product? Sells drugs, I mean? Hmm. We're in logistics. It's our business to know. And no. As far as the company knows, the Union does not produce it. They transport the ingredients for a cut. Okay, so do you want us to investigate? Yes, but you won't get anything out of Everard and the Dock Workers Union. Still, every chain has its weak link. Well, yeah. The handoff. The motor lorries at the roundabout. I'm going to need the bolt cutter for this. The lorries! Precisely. Someone needs to move the ingredients from the harbor into the city. Once they reach Jamrock, they're distributed to a network of local manufacturers well beyond our grasp. But in transit, they're vulnerable. Okay. Perhaps you've noticed that a number of lorries are tangled in a traffic jam at the roundabout just now. Interview the drivers who are still hanging about. One of them might be waiting for a crucial shipment. Okay. I'll be explicit. If you find this driver, I will share company secrets with you. Okay. Uncovering union secrets could also give you an upper hand when dealing with them. Now, that's true. Why didn't you come to our CM earlier? Did. On more than one occasion. Apparently, there's some sort of inter-precinct disagreement about whose jurisdiction this area falls under. What? We know the company has launched its own probe into the Union's alleged involvement. We also know it's come up empty. It's not just the RCN. No one's been able to find any hard evidence. Hmm. Well, here's your chance, officers. Well, it's not gonna be easy, but I'm the king of investigations right here. I write the script and I will find, uh, yeah, what I need. <laughs> it's no coincidence. The lorries are stranded. They're they're like that, isn't it? Come on. No, we asked East Motor Ooh, to raise the Give me that. The road company is a partner of one of our subsidiaries. However, she pauses, looking to see. Let me s do this. Unlock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me that, and let me internalize this. Temporary research bonus none. Okay. Wow. Temporary nothing. That's something after I'm gonna get, I guess. Let's go. This is gonna be quite big if you ask me. And now what? Now nothing. So let's continue here. This is a limited time opportunity. Once the complaint has been processed by the trade committee, they'll have no choice but to lower the drawbridge, and the operation will continue. Okay. Thousands of liters of raw ingredients will pour onto the streets of Revachol. Not the east across the river, but the west. The vulnerable. The weary. Hmm. Well, at least this solves one mystery. Yeah, at least it's something. What is that, Lieutenant? Hmm. Why I had to call East Motor Track and beg them to open a drawbridge for me. I'd wonder since I first drove in on my motor carriage. Okay. I am sorry for the inconvenience, Lieutenant Kisaragi, but we need them trapped here. This is a unique opportunity. I'm sure you understand. Okay, but the bridge is important to me. Two, to open it. Well, what proof do you have that the union is involved? How do you think they're financing this strike? 
There are thousands of unpaid dock workers going strong for the fourth month straight. Well, that's true, by the way. There was a shakedown of local businesses preceding the strike. Many were squeezed to bankruptcy to fund it. Hmm. With all due respect to these desert cat tie, the contents of a few cash registers cannot provide for 2,000 men. The local businesses can scarcely provide for themselves. Mm, yeah, maybe it's true because uh, we know business is not doing great in this city. Actually, it's a uh, uh, weak. So you think the strike is being funded with source ingredients for drugs? Precisely. Smuggled out of that very gate at night, most likely. Then loaded onto lorries and driven to Jamrock. You simply need to find one driver who will open up to you. Hmm. So, we already have some suspicious that one of the drivers was present and lynching. Hmm. The two might even be connected. Hmm. Or not. Though, if you have evidence to the contrary, I'm eager to hear it. Okay. As eager as I am to share it, Lieutenant, once the job is done. Hmm. Come on. Alright, so... Okay, I've made up my mind about the smuggling investigation. Yes? We will take this case, probe the drivers, see what he yells. Yeah, let's take this too. According to my reports, there are at least three lorry drivers lingering near the roundabout. Hopefully one of them will know something. So she gonna stay here in her boat doing no shit and I'm gonna do the dirt work, huh? The hard work, huh? I'm gonna put my hands in the dirt for her. Just to have some information, come on. It may come to nothing or it may just blow the case wide open. I can keep the drawbridge up for a few more days at least. You should have the time you need. But, you know, I I do this only for the case. For nothing else. In the meantime, let me know if there's any other way I may be of assistance. Because the investigations are important, okay? So... Do you know something about these tattoos? Show her the photo. That's the man who was killed. I'm afraid this is a discussion for once we've cleared the lynching question. Come on! <sighs> so you know something about the tattoos? I not tie the fourth day to the back's day on this. I hope there is something else I can help you with. You seem smart. I need someone to give me a lowdown on this reality we're in. This reality? She pulls her hood closer around her neck. Yes, reality is your side case. Yeah. An experimental side case. I'm conducting a personal investigation into the world if I find, I find myself in. Okay. How truly curious. Hmm. A sort of philosopher detective. My theory is that the inquiry into the nature of reality will ultimately converge with our murder investigation. They are really one the same. Actually, that's not why I need you give me the lowdown. Let's try number are one. Are they now? Hmm. The Lieutenant Cox one elbow. One eyebrow. A deep synthesis. Experience. I'll assist you however I can then. Go ahead. Ask. Oh, perfect right. execution. We're in. Wow, I we have this. Ooh. all look good, but begin with the first, okay? Ooh, wow, I have two of this. One better than the other. Let's put the carps too. Let me see. So, the jam mystery. Someone's using Terminal B to smuggle the raw ingredients of drugs into Revachol. Judge said there are three drivers at the intersection. Talk to them, one of them must know something about the drug trade. Mm. And I know, I know who he is. Okay? The one that doesn't give me the smoke. Absolutely. So, where are we? We're in Martinez, baby. Hmm. <laughs> Baby? A casual term of endearment popular among the 50 plus crowd. It's a disco holdover, pay it no heed. Hmm. I'm a disco holdover myself. <laughs> Aren't we all? 
Oh, she no. refers to your corresponding ages. Hmm. And what is Martinez? Martinez is a district of Revachol. Martinez. Yeah. A very small district tucked away near the industrial harbor. North of the 881 and Jamrock. Okay. You would be excused for not knowing about it. Unimportant, they say. Forgotten, even. Shelled to smithereens hmm. during the revolution. It has its charms, just not this time of year. So, you mentioned it, I see. Well, tell me more about Martian I'm not a good ambassador. I've only been here once before. As a teenager. Not a lot has changed. Hmm. There are ruins, a terminal, fishing boats, reeds. Boys with boxy shoulders. Hmm. This place used to be a province. A workers' resort before the city swallowed it and the artillery did its work. The reeds are the real star of the show here now. The further down the coast, the wilder it gets. Okay, so you mentioned the sea. What sea is this? It's not really a sea. It's the Bay of Revachol. Hmm. And the bay feeds into the ocean. Okay, so are we near the ocean? Yes. We are on an island in an ocean. The world's largest body of water. The Insulindic. Okay. Known to the early river Sholians as Les Immensités Bleu. The Blue Immensities. Okay. Vast, lukewarm, and unknowable. Flowing in and out of sight. So, what's the name of this island? Caillou, as you already know. Hmm. Imagine a pebble. Caillou. A smoothed over pebble amidst a great blue sea. Misshapen, cracked. The cracks are the river Esperance. We're in the delta of this river on the sixth branch, the Martinez distributary. Okay, that's Martinez. What's Revachol? Revachol? Revachol is what you call a city. What kind of city is Revachol? The great kind. Okay. As if it's self explanatory, beyond patriotism, a fact. By the way, why? In fact, why this is great? This city is like falling to pieces, and it's it doesn't seem so great, if you ask me. What makes Revachol great? History, detective. They built this city okay. to resolve history. Our part in it, at least, our centuries. Okay, who built the city? The nations of the Occident, or migrant workers from Seminine and Il Mara, depending on your creed. Okay, so when was Revachol built? In the DeLorean century, 380 oh, wow. years ago. And uh, why will it resolve history? They say it's where the terrible questions of our time will be answered. The tensions are highest, the fault lines deepest. Okay. By that I mean conflicts, ideological conflicts, okay. the stuff of men. Why there? We are standing on a fertile, self-sufficient island able to sustain up to 200 million people in the middle of the Insulindic Ocean, the world's connective tissue. It's where the money is. Hmm. So we're in an important part of an important place? I think it's fair to say so. Martinez is about... About? She points across the water where the skyscraper rises. 22 kilometers from the center Experience. of the world. That soldering iron is the bank of the world building. The bottom floors are Insiacom. Hmm. Coalition government, Insulindian Mission Command. Okay, look to see. Silence. She lowers her hand. Hmm. The water, the light. It's as though you're seeing it for the first time. Okay. There is no recognition, only the immensity of the sea and the cold radiating from it. So, where are we? We Ooh. are where we are. Ooh. I have no true answer to give, unfortunately. She watches you closely as you scan the horizon. Wow, new thought, but I don't have a... Uh... Yeah, it's like I want to feel all of them. I hope this, when uh, we gonna reach to the max and we're gonna solve this, I hope this have a great bonus because you know now I have no bonus from this from the start. 
No temporary bonus, but I guess after it's gonna be pretty obvious. By the way, this lady is talking a lot. We we are getting so many information, and this is good. And we unlock this. Shemais Wu. The realization. Wow. Look at his the faces. Wow, this is cool. So Revachol Special Administrative Region, Lakayu, the Insulin and Hoshian Coalition Government, Insulin the Mission Command, name after name, and none of them is familiar. They seem real, but something's wrong. You feel like a kid looking at stickers on the fridge. Truvant, the Apricot Company, World Games 34. You can almost see your hand reaching out for them. Scratch at the corners, see if they peel loose. This feels like the most important of all th thoughts. The one you truly must complete. Wow. And I'm gonna do this after we get a skill point. So let's go. Come on. This is one thought you need to complete. Where are you? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Was there something else you wanted to know? I remember something about a lowdown. Hmm. This has been informative. Thank you, man. I'm sure my memory impaired partner has many more questions to ask about mm. even more fundamental aspects of reality. Yeah. Might I suggest not asking them all right now? Man, mm. Monsieur will be here later too, and tomorrow. Isn't that true, man? Hmm. Absolutely. My commitment here is long term. But I want to know everything now. That is understandable. But perhaps it's better not to eat all your candy at once. All right, if you say so. I'm always at your service. So, number two. What times are these? These are unimportant times, detective. You and I were born after the dust had settled. A thousandth of a second too late. So, too late for what? For the big time. Her eyes light up. There's a flash of teeth. What's the big time? The revolution. Huh, and what is this revolution I keep hearing about? It's quite easy. Every hundred years or so, our species gets together to decide what's next, who gets shot in the head, and who gets the mineral rights. It's a real kerfuffle. What? Kerfuffle? So, would you say it was a bunch of apes dunking it out? Why, of course. We're talking Duke Out Central. Full swing intraspecies warfare. And the apes, were they evil? No. I would say the apes were neutral. Okay, she looks at you, he gets sharp. The good apes actually, the evil, the neutral. Why this choice? I guess they're neutral. Let's say okay. Because maybe it's uh, it's like the story was uh, writing itself again. Another circle, you know? It's like, I don't know, even it's, uh, this is maybe reality and the fantasy is fantasy, like on Dark Souls 3. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it too much, but it's like the flame, the fire. Everything is writing something and then is rewriting something, you know? It's like rescribing the reality, so yeah, okay, natural. On the other hand. On the other hand, hmm, she turns north to the booming outbuildings lying in the waterfront, then shivers slightly. Who got shot in the head? Who got the mineral rights? When was... yeah, who got shot Those in the head? Those would be the communists. Generally speaking, 40 million people got shot in the head during the World Revolution. But the communists... They all got shot in the head. Hmm. Oh, communists, and huh? And the anarchists, too. Hmm. They shot them well. So well, one forgets they even existed. Hmm. Did the communists and anarchists shot back? Did they ever? Before they got shot themselves, they shot two million people. Truly a kerfuffle. That's a tragedy. Sounds like they should have shot more people in the head then. I don't know. That's a tragedy. Yes. The Red Deluge. The Insulindian Deluge, they call it. I had a deluge too in my head. Point to your head, a little head. Anyone else get shot in the head on the opposite side? Oh, lots of people. 
Even the king got shot in the head, or thrown beneath a horse, hmm. or drowned. Accounts differ. It was unceremonious. Just as well, he wasn't actually the king. Just the king's nephew. Okay. The real king abdicated and lived out a long and productive life as a venture capitalist in Grad. Ooh. So it's a smart king, car the king. I love the that king. Fucking communist. I don't care about kings. Tell me more. One more thing. About head shooting. No, but about who got the mineral rights. The liberals got the mineral rights. And by mineral rights, I mean everything. Hmm. Okay, and by liberals, you mean? Liberals are usually middle class people, detective. Or the remaining gentry. The hmm. beneficiaries of the pre revolutionary arrangement. Okay. Some were rich enough to stay with the constitution, with monarchy. Big mistake. Others bet on the revolution. They were called the ultras or ultra liberals. They fared well. Okay. How did the liberals win it, uh, they didn't it win all? So much as survive. We were the last ones standing when the war ended. Everyone else got shot in the head, remember? Hmm. We. She's one of them. Of course. Who? Oh. So, if everyone got shot, who was there to surrender to? To foreign intervention. The coalition. Those people really took the mineral rights. Hmm. Wait, you just said liberals already took everything. The liberals took everything that wasn't nailed to the ground. The coalition took the ground. Okay. The ocean, the laws and the people. She's angry. She stumps the rubber barefoot, huh? Who are the coalition? The Coalition of Nations. Grad, Mesk, Vesper, Messina, Oranje, and Sur La Clay. Oranje. The armed center of the world. They hmm. landed here and ended the revolution. It was the moralist thing to do. So before we go forward, let's read uh, this. Get a reality lowdown. Keep asking Joyce questions about reality. Or return later. She'll be here whenever you need the info. Yeah, now I need the info, so moralist. The moralists believe in keeping everything exactly the way it is. They believe in mineral rights and not shooting people in the head. All right. At least not in the same manner and volume as the others do. Hmm. They are the long-standing provisional rulers of Revachol now, the coalition government. Okay. The rulers of Revachol and also the world. These guys are strong. All right. This is their zone of control. They embolden the RCM with crumbs of the same law they took. Technically speaking, you are a moralist. Me? The color of moralism is blue. The official motto of Moral Inter, or Moralist International, is hmm. a blue forget-me-not, a piece of gray sky. Unofficial, a moralist, so... for a moment, there was hope. Not just technically, practically... Uh, for a moment there was hope if I was picking the option that doesn't come into anything then hell yes I am and also not an almost endearingly moralist standpoint it must hmm. be hard to take a moderate approach to head shooting in your line of work hmm. so when was this kerfuffle turn of the century revolution don't answer it it's a trick question. Hmm. The revolution began in 02 on the Isla of Grad, though by the end nearly the whole world had gotten involved. Okay, who started it? It wasn't a who, but a what. A pandemic of Zarat, a particularly virulent prion disease, which the authorities in Grad proved unable to contain. Then Mazov came along and overthrew the government. So. What did Sarat do? It made people overthrow their governments. Hmm. Really? Of course not. It was a highly infectious microorganism that destroyed brain tissue. Ooh. The actual causes of the revolution were material. The pandemic only provided the spark. Okay. It was a funny time in history. They discovered transistors and rock music, but they didn't know anything about prions. Nobody did. Where did he spread from there? From Revachol and Grad? Not far. 
The world managed to cauterize itself. Mazov's government was overthrown in 08, and the coalition crushed the Revachol commune two years later. It was the end. What came next? Why? You and I, officer. Our lives in the zone of control. Hmm. Something tells you her life and yours are not that similar. Yeah. Maybe it's because she has a boat and you have that necktie? A pair of pants? Hmm. Our lives are really different from each other. What is the zone of control? Number one. No doubt. But we share the same time and position on the planet's crust. That counts for more than you think. What is the zone of control? A city-state divided into free market zones under the everlasting interregnum of the Coalition of Nations. And you, of course, the citizens' militia. Hmm. The zone of control is the third incarnation of Revachol. After the okay. failure of the suzerain and the commune. So, what happened in the rest of the world? Modernity. They developed the marvels of the inter communication. Okay. Telematic milieus, radiation, colored plastics. Meanwhile, in Revachol West, the aftermath continues for the fifth decade. Okay. 51 minus 8 equals 43. Wait, you're saying it's been like this 43 years? It's been like this for long exactly? Yeah. Number one. Time flies. What what have we been doing all the, that the time? We saw a decade of urban war west of the river leveled, offshore platforms in flames. Still, it's regarded as an improvement on what came before. 08 to 19 was simply hell. And after that? The 30s. Things settled down in the 30s. Hmm. Revachol East transformed itself into the world's largest tax haven with Ooh. the international community's blessing. For the first time in a long time, it seemed like things were going somewhere. Well, that's when they discovered disco. No. Oh. It was a market mirage fueled by cocaine. Click the fucking wrong easy. button again. The 40s dispelled it like a cold splash. An Isla wide hangover, you might say. And here we are. Hmm. She curtsies. Welcome to reality. Ooh, baby. 70 experience. Wow. Welcome to reality. Yeah. For her to be where she is, Wild Pines Group must have picked the right side. Hmm. Which side was Wild Pines Group on? They picked the winning side. Hmm. That's Obviously. Why here and others are not. They choose wisely, or they got lucky. They got lucky for me. Perhaps it wouldn't have turned out that way had I been in charge. I might have bet on the king and led the pines to doom. You would have sided with the king? I would have sided with the cannons. If you'd seen the calibers of the things, you might have too. Hmm. She thinks... Perhaps it's better I was born when I was. Okay. Ten of the fourteen Indo tribes got it wrong. Feld, Kupri, Tricentennial... So I suppose I would have been in good company. Mm, yeah, so what would you have done differently? Good question. Whoa, there's... She talks a lot. Differently? I asked you, who are you in all this? And I asked mm. you, past less detective of the citizen's militia, what insight has acute encephalopathy given to you? Hmm. I would have sought a medical solution. Sounds like Tazarath drove those people mad. A cold creeps up your spine, reaching its tendrils up your neck, toward the back of your head. Hmm. So a quarter of humanity simply lost their minds. And how would you stop a prion, a complex folding protein, unlife, Whoa. with the technology 50 years ago? With some hygiene, modest social care, and for us a little research program. Hmm. And how do you stop a prion? A compass folding part in life with okay. Uh, liquid liquidate the rabbit, prion fasted dogs who want to kill everyone with cleansing and stilify. Would privatize healthcare and work ethic that does not turn your brain into sponge tissue. Okay, maybe it's impossible. What happened? Hmm. Maybe Number one. The wind stops, and for a moment, there's silence. 
the charge dissipates into the dark water. Hmm. All is quiet on the Martinez Inlet. Okay. There is peace in the hut. Oh. Good hygiene. Really. A very moderate solution to an extreme problem. Well, it's, a, it's those sort of half measures that doomed the authorities in Grad. At least it's something. When they failed to step up, Marzorf and his party stepped in. In this particular case, maybe a more robust state response might have been appropriate. Okay. <clears throat> Opinions expressed here do not reflect the official position of the RCM. Hmm. And what is your official position, Lieutenant? Hmm, let's see. My position, ma'am? My parents got ripped to shreds in the revolution. I would have gone the same way. I was saved by being two years old. That's my position. The abattoir. Ooh. Understandable. She nods. So that's an art about the they times. Are what they are. Who knows? An afterbloom may yet come. Hmm. Anyway, enough sentimentality. Is there anything else you want to know? Let's see. Not so fast. Who is she in all this? Ask her who she is. She owes you an answer. Oh. I want to know what you are. Right? Didn't I click this already? Hell no. I want to know what you are. Hmm. She hums, huh? What are you? I am the vilest of the vile. A traitor. A devourer of nations and infants. Okay. I am an ultra. Ooh, an ultra what? She raises the corner of her mouth, smirking, revealing a canine. Wait, what's an ultra? An ultra liberal. It's a type of liberal. From the revolution. It's a... Uh, not the moderate kind. Dios mio! Draw a cross. A liberal! Yes. I am the nether creature of the Forbidden Swamp. Mm. I pushed the king under a shit wagon and yeah, betrayed yeah. the revolution. My kind yeah. surrendered the nation to financial colonists. Yeah, yeah. I can see you thought we'd gone extinct. After hmm. all, no sane person identifies as an ultra liberal anymore. Not in broad daylight. You're a centrist at heart. A real moralist, no? Tell me, now that I've uncoiled myself, do you find me frightening? I don't care. A fitting punishment to be forgotten, if not forgiven. Save a prayer for us in our shadows on Azon and in Stella Maris. Okay. When the dust settled, the liberals were the only ones left to clean up the mess. By virtue of their survival, they were handed enormous power to shape the future. Hmm. This was all our last generation managed. Well, I guess the future shaped really bad if you ask me. Look at the city, for example. Trash people, trash economy, trash things, trash everything. I don't know. I don't know about food, but I think food is trash too, maybe. I'm gonna talk to the the guy in the kitchen of the bar maybe he can tell something about food and we're gonna talk to the guys who about union so after this that's what we're gonna do come on this girl talked so much so why would you have done something differently with due respect to our overlords the eternal caretaker government that keeps martinez a monument to the efficacy of its artillery okay while a gentle wind sweeps the streets in the rebuilt east light drizzle washing it clean Lights go up and motor carriages circulate the tracks. Okay. I would not have relinquished sovereignty to the coalition. Not here in Martinez. And not in the Stella Maris or Delta Beachheads either. If not for my own sake. Okay. She realizes her small, cold fists are clenched. She loosens them. Okay. Then for my daughters. We had an obligation to defend our sovereignty. We should have burned the whole Isola down rather than let them have it. Mm. Um, orange this. flames reflect in her green eyes. <laughs> An oil fire on the ocean. Mm. You're a patriot? You have daughters? Yes. New Whatever skill point! I am. Yeah. I'm also a mother. Give me what? that. Let me unlock now, this. Let's start here. Reality? And let me use this. Internalize. Yeah, let's go. 
Really good. So what is this? Spread your hands. A bird? Hmm. A Svenisid? What? A flightless bird of the polar regions? Keep guessing. Some sort of krill hunter? No, wait. You're an ancient ruin. A symbol of hubris and decay. Half submerged in some salty sea. Are you saying I'm ruined? Of course you're not, my dear. I'm just terrible at guessing games. I mean, what is this place here? Ah. Ah. This is the ah. pier of Rue de saint Gislaine, 33A, where the tenants have been kind enough to rent me a slot. Okay. Or two. Hmm. What is the Rue de saint jean Gislaine, 33A? A pre-revolutionary tenement. Experience. Old buildings are called tenements, you see. And new buildings, Batimont. After Le Batiment Nouveau. Ooh. But 33A and 33B are not Nouveau. Okay, they're, they're old. old. Hmm. She looks up at the crumbling thicket. By the way, let me go here since I spend it. And now what? I've done something. Pretty good. Get a reality lowdown. Wow. Completed. Pretty good if you ask me. So let's go. This one used to be eight to ten stories tall. A real high rise by the standards of the last century. Okay. Built to mirror the skyscrapers across the bay in the delta. That was before the war, of course. By the way, she never stops talking. Come on, she has so many things to say. Who lived in them? Mostly the urban middle class, I believe. This was once primo real estate. Before the cannons locked four or five stories off. By the way, this is good. So, you know, I can... Uh, get a reality check and I maybe my brain will work better and uh, for the case it's better maybe for the investigations you know splat splat oh, who the hell are you I seen you before on the balcony but a young girl you know the clothes gives joys the evil eye a red paintbrush held to the throat Wonderful. to her throat what what is that point to scene this call the girl in the old lady rags yes looks like a sullen and rebellious member of a teen infraculture infraculture yes you and i belong to the supraculture hmm we're common the herd the music on the radio, the food in the chain restaurant, those are all too popular for the girl in the old lady rags. Okay. She prefers a fantasy world. And what's the problem? With its own dress code and vernacular. It is an illusion, I'm afraid. There is no refuge from the supraculture. Okay, now explain the same thing, but to a child. Yeah. Young people who dye their hair funny colors and wear old people's clothes are stupid, and their little rebellion is self-defeating. You are stupid, old girl. Fuck you. Because, uh, why you say that? You are saying that kids are stupid, huh? Don't disrespect kids, huh? I can see that she is not a girl from the streets. Okay, I can see that she's the union blah 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 blah. I can say that because when you are in the streets, when you get your hands dirty, the first thing to respect in the streets are kids. And she's obviously not doing that. All right, what next? And that's important for investigations because sometimes kids can help a lot. Okay, sometimes kids knows. And with the right kids, Something can came out. That's why I want to try harder with Kuno and Kness, the other girl. Because they know something, okay? They can be really helpful. I know about that. I don't know why. I'm feeling it, okay? And this not helping. This girl will not help about that because she disrespecting the kids. Okay? Why can't they dream? Why can't they try to live even their world, their fantasy world. What's the problem? 
The girl on the balcony, for example, she's not hurting anyone. So what's the deal with that? Why say that the hair is stupid? She's not doing nothing wrong. Or at least apparently. So what's the deal? So can I? Hell no. And this? Hell no. That's all for now. Glad to wow. have been of assistance. The little that I know. Anything so, else? So about reality? Yeah, we're gonna see after. Of course, detective. Take care. Wow, she talked so much. Whoa. Now can I say something to my friend here? Maybe? No. Yes. So I guess, whoa, that was pretty amazing if you ask me. Now, let me save. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, let me change the camera real quick. Wow, this was a big episode, okay? This girl talked really so much, but well, a, down re a reality down chat and uh, all the things that she said was good. And it's not the best part, because she knows things about Union and other things that I need to know. To solve the case important thing about the lynching so yeah we're gonna talk to this girl later after we do something if we can and uh, i hope i find my badge or something like that and yeah we gonna solve the mystery okay we gonna be the best right so this episode was good thanks for watching leave a like comment subscribe we we'll see you all in the next episode next video of this Bye.